knew we did good, right? We won the game, so right. I think we're good. Yeah. Well, what's that process like for you? Like, how much are you relying on the coaches and, and prep work, and how much are you just reacting throughout the game? I mean, if they're gonna double, you know, somebody's gonna be open. We have to play four and three. I think we struggled a little bit in the first half, but then we picked it up. You know, everybody was res uh, not respecting. It was a good spacing, and that's that's what we won the game. I mean, it's both, you know, I've been doubled a lot back in Europe too, you know, it's, uh, they double way more than in NBA, so, you know, it's just a matter of time, I'm going to be better and better on this, and just, you know, sharing the ball, I think that was great. Yeah, I think they play great, you know, both of them. Uh, and, you know, they're good, very good players. I think they're going to help us a lot on both ends. So I think, uh, I know we're really happy to have them. Yeah, yeah, we speak, we speak Serbian all the time. Yeah. 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 Well, we got three on Zoom. Sorry. Seth, go. Hey, look, uh, what do you uh, think of Maxie's uh, defense, uh, especially when it was pretty obvious that, that Butler was going to try to go at him uh, quite a bit there late? I mean, amazing, man. You know, he played amazing today. Uh, I think uh, a lot of games he played amazing, especially on defensive end. Uh, you can't see that on statue, but, you know, he's been really good for us. Uh, today he was unbelievable on both ends, and, you know, we just, we're just happy to have him uh, on our team. Landed. Hey, Luca. Talk about um, seeing your teammates step up in that fourth quarter. As you didn't, you didn't score in that entire fourth quarter, but your team still outscores Miami Heat, um, 26 to 21. Yeah, I mean, you know, uh, like I say, you know, I was uh, sometimes I was double, so we kind of had uh, good spacing. Everybody was aggressive. Everybody was uh, ready to score, and I think we shared the ball great. Then one in, one in Spanish, Pedro. Thank you. Luca, buenas noches. Una impresionante victoria ¿no? ante el equipo de Miami Heat que viene, venía siendo el líder de la conferencia este. Eh, si nos puedes hablar de lo que son las contribuciones de tus dos nuevos compañeros, en este caso de Spencer Dingwood y de Davis Bertrand, lo que pudiste ver de ellos. Eh, muy bien. Eh, creo que bueno es un primer partido y aún así lo, ha hecho, lo han hecho muy bien. Es difícil el primer partido con todo nuevo también y estamos muy contentos de que están con nosotros. Man, the only thing that went through my mind is I was having fun. I was enjoying every second on the court. Just try to do my part to help the team win the game, bring the energy, and uh, you know, end up winning the game. So, so that's that's the best part of it. And that five-point run you had at the end of the third quarter, where you hit the three and then you had the, the three-point play. Is that something that you made like a tangible effort to come in and try and make a difference, or, or what was what was kind of the sequence uh, to that? I just honestly, I came into these games like I've had plenty of experience with. In some way, similar uh, situation with coming back from the ACL injuries. You know, the first game is always like some, the first time I did. I tried too much, and it usually doesn't work out well. So I just let the game come to me. And that moment, I checked in. The shot clock was running down, so I had no chance, no no other option but to shoot it. So and knocked that one down. And then after the great team defensive effort and effort by JB, just you know. I was just lucky to be on that end of the floor already. So, how how much do you think? How how much do you think you've already adjusted to the offense, the defense, what the coaches are asking to you, and how long do you imagine that process taking? Well, the very basics of what the coaching staff is asking uh, on both ends of the floor is is very simple, right. and it's a te team game on both ends and. I kind of feel like I really fit in that type of environment, and and has definitely been. A quick and easy adjustment uh, coming in. You know, guys been welcoming. 
you'd see they're looking for me when I was to get some good looks for three. So, you know, I think this team already had a great chemistry and uh, hopefully I can help build on that. Uh, you guys good? I'm, good. I'm good. Okay, we got a couple on Zoom. Landon, go ahead. Hey, Davis, uh, what do you think about some of the, um, the players on this roster now that you got your first game in with the Mavs? What really stands out to you most playing with these guys and how your game fits in with them? Uh, I feel like everybody just knows what they have to do, what's their part on the court, what's their uh, main strengths, and... Uh, and honestly, as I said, the coaches made the game so simple for everybody that, you know, Luca is a guy that has the ball in his hands a lot. And, uh, and you know, there's a lot of attention on, on the other opposing teams on defense. And, and you just create for everybody else some open looks. And, and once you start sharing ball from that, it just opens the game. It's so easy on, on offensive end. Ian? Hey, Davis. Uh, um, a big part of your game is relocation off ball. Um, with a new team and new teammates, is there any learning curve with that? And do you know kind of, or is it just a natural flow to where the soft spots on the floor are? Uh, honestly, when when the ball starts moving and, and when the players start moving, then it's just it's just easy. I feel like I've always found the right positions, and you know here it's been pretty simple. You know, you, you get to the corners, you usually get a three. So. <laughs> So, yeah, just it's really, it's really simple and easy. Last one, Chris. Chris? Okay. I'm sorry about that. I'm here now. All right, Darvis, great game tonight. So when you, you talked about knowing where you need to be at and different things, compared to your, your older the team that you on before, when you came to this team, obviously, it was pretty much like emphasis on your shooting and now it looked like it was just a natural thing, natural flow. Can you talk about what Kid may have told you when you first got here and how that translated for tonight? Uh, the first day was just, as I said before, uh, he said that here in Dallas we play team defense. You do the right things, you're in the right place. And they've been success successful this season uh, on the defensive end. And uh, that was real simple and an offense. And just you know, you might have a start of the play, or sometimes even no call, no calls, and uh, you just get into it, read the defense, play basketball, find your open teammate, and try to get good looks. And then I, I feel like that's making the game really easy for everybody. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you.